Hey guys, welcome back to Donny Boy 73, the small engine doctor. Today in this video, I'm going to show you some tips for removing a really stubborn auger pulley from a snowblower. This will usually apply to snowblowers where the auger pulley has not been removed for years and it's rusted on, it's fused on, and no matter what you do, it will not come off. So stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I removed one. Now here's the blower. I do have the pulley removed already. I was just too busy to make a video of me actually removing it, but I'm going to explain to you exactly how I did it. This pulley hadn't been removed for at least 10 years from the snowblower. It was rusted. Somebody had even pounded the shaft over top the pulley, so the shaft was all smothered on top. So I had to grind down the shaft. First I tried prying up the pulley with a crowbar, but there's no way that thing would move. So what I decided to do is drill two quarter inch holes on each side of the pulley here and I made sure that the nuts went on the outside of this adapter here on the pulley. Then I put two bolts, put it on my puller. The pulley was obviously still on the shaft and I tried pulling it out like this without heating the pulley. It would not come off. So I've got an old set of carbon torches rigged up to my AC225 welder and I used that to heat up this part here of the pulley, which was down even with the shaft, red hot. I mean, it was red hot. And then I applied the puller, and it came off. It came off slowly, though, even though everything was red hot. But it was the only way that this thing would come off. But the only way I was able to do it was by drilling two holes in the pulley. You're not going to damage it just by drilling two holes like that. And it's really important that you drill the holes close to the adapter here. Because if you drill them too far, what's going to happen is the pulley is going to bend when you go to pull it off. And because this is where it's stuck on the shaft, that's where you need all the pressure when removing it. I would have never been able to do it had I not used the puller and drilled two holes in the pulley. And when I heated the shaft in the pulley, I did already have the puller all set up with the bolts and everything. So that as soon as I laid my torches down, a way I could tighten up the puller right away while it was red hot and it did come off real good. You can see that the bolts did get heated pretty hot when I was heating the pulley and that's why they're bent but they don't cost much money anyway so they can be sacrificed and you can see that it was really hot just by the color of the metal. If you did end up damaging the pulley over here and it got unwelded then all you have to do is weld it back on and make sure that it's straight. This one's in perfect condition so it was a lot cheaper than busting the shaft and then having to replace an impeller shaft. And to remove the bearing from the shaft, this is how I did it with a puller. I even had to heat up the bearing here, red hot. Always wear safety equipment when doing this, like safety glasses and maybe a face shield in case anything ever blew up or busted. But that's how I got it off. It did take a while, but in the end I was sure glad it was done. Sometimes it's inevitable that you're going to get a bit of damage regardless there was a bit of damage there before from the previous mechanic. But at this point here all I'm going to do is grind it down smooth. You can use a flat disc or a grinding disc to do that. You want to especially make sure that the end of the shaft here isn't all spread out because you will not be able to reinsert your bearing and the pulley. So what I'm going to do is grind it down so that it's a perfect size for the bearing and the pulley to go back on. So a quick recap, if you run into trouble, you can always drill two holes and use a puller like this with some bolts and pull it out. If it doesn't want to come out, remember that you have to heat this part of the pulley here and the shaft red hot with either a carbon torch or acetylene torches. So thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.